Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental L. So let's talk about how you can and will pass that quality assurance exam without having to buy any textbooks. And I'm serious, you don't have to buy any textbooks. Um, I've been getting a lot of emails from dental hygienists who have been doing this for 30 years. And the thought of doing a portfolio terrifies them, which I can understand. It's not hard, but you know, if you've never done one, or you just don't know how to put all of your continuing education, all of that together, it can be very overwhelming. And it's actually easier to take the exam in that case. If I'm ever audited, I was audited about four years ago, so it's probably coming, um, then I would take the exam just because to me, I'd prefer to take an exam and not have to organize all of that. But if you're that person where taking exams freak you out, then the portfolio is a better option for you. And I do help with that too. Um, have a look at the portfolio um, workshop that I do have at Dental L. I can leave the link for you here if you need help with the portfolio and not the exam. But let me show you guys inside the quality assurance exam um, course, actually, yes. And I will kind of show you guys what's inside a little bit. So like a little sneak peek. So you kind of know what you're getting into and why you don't need any textbooks to study for it. So far, um, about 52 hygienists have taken my course and they've all passed, at least the ones that have told me and the ones that have taken their exam. So a 100% success rate in passing. So I can help you pass too. Um, um, the Milestones Magazine did update the topics that we have to know for it in October. So I had to redo my entire course, but it's awesome. There's everything that you have to know inside. In fact, let me share my screen. I will show you guys. So this includes mock exams and it includes PDF files. So these are all of the topics that you will learn about. So as you can see, there's tons, but not too much where you will get overwhelmed. And as I said, you guys, everybody who has taken this course has passed. So I know that I can help you. Um, and for those who prefer to do less reading, then I did upload some um, videos also here. Okay, but just to kind of give you an idea, let's click on, for example, the medical emergencies file. So you just have to click on that. And this is inside the actual course here. So um, it's a big file. So as you guys can see, it's still taking some time to download. So sorry about that. It might just be a second. But this is inside the course. Each one of these modules has at least 100 slides, at least. Um, which may seem like a lot, but once you start reading it, you will go through it. I suggest um, dental hygienists at least take a month to study, if not more. I've, I've had hygienists tell me that, that they took two weeks and they read through everything and they felt okay. And then I've had others tell me that they've been, been at it for two months and still have more to learn. So it depends on, do you work part-time? Do you work full-time? Are you able to study every day? If not, then give yourself extra time because they say that to take the exam, you'll be studying for at least 75 hours. So, which sounds about right. So it did download. So I clicked on the medical emergencies. So I'm just gonna open that up for everybody to see just so you have an idea. So this is 133 slides. So how it works is I, I talk about medical emergencies first and what you have to know. So all of these modules come from at least four different textbooks. So I do use textbooks to obviously make these. It, it probably took me a year to do, so it took me a while, um, a little bit at a time, but this is what I love to do. For those of you who don't know me, I've been tutoring um, dental hygiene and dental assisting students since 2005. Um, I've been a, a, a receptionist, I've been a dental assistant, a dental hygienist, and I became a restorative hygienist about four years ago, and I did just open up my own dental hygiene practice. So very exciting, so I love this. So just to kind of show you guys how things look here. And then there are mock exams at the end. So there are test questions, see? So you can all read them. There's a question and then there's an answer. So sorry, I think I'm going a little bit too fast here. But so there's a question, there's an answer. Question, answer, question, answer. So you get the idea. 
I don't want to show you guys everything, but this is what it is. Um, I'll just kind of show you guys one more here. So let's look at um, radiography. Everybody loves that one, right? So I'll just open up that one too. It's the same type of thing. So first it's kind of like a lecture style um, PDF and then there's mock exam questions after that to test your knowledge. So this one I don't think is as large because it didn't take, oh, it's actually larger, but it took less time to download. So sorry about that. <laughs> But so 208 slides, you guys. So just to give you an idea. So I go through everything and this has not just um, radiography, but it does have like everything else in it because what I like to do is I do like to mix it up. So then that way you're not studying just the one topic for two hours because that is not helpful. You will try to study it and then at the end of the two hours, you'll be like, I don't remember anything. So I do try to mix it up. This file is mostly mock exam questions. So all of that. Um, so yeah, you guys, as you can see a ton of stuff, 200, I think I said, yes, 208 slides. So all of the topics that you have to know are in, here and some of them are mixed up also so as we were looking at the one for um radiography i believe as you can see there's a mix in there so you learn a little bit about everything but only what you have to know um as for studying a lot of people do ask me well how long should i be studying for everybody's different it depends on how much time you do have i do suggest if you can Study at least two hours every single day. It could even be an hour in the morning, an hour at night, but try to do it for at least two hours. Do not study for more than six hours because your, your brain can't handle more than six hours. And I do not say study all of those six hours. Do say two hours in the morning, two hours in the afternoon, and two hours in the evening. It will help you so much. So I hope that helped you guys. If you have any questions, just let me know. The um, full course is now open. It is a one-time fee. That's it. And you have full access. So even if you don't pass it, knock on wood, you will still have full access to restudy everything again, if for some reason you don't pass it. But like I said, um, every single person who has taken my course has passed the exam. There's a 100% success rate. So I'm happy to say, clearly I kind of knew how to develop the course and I did do a good job if I can say that. So, and I'm so happy to help because I know it can be stressful to have to take an exam, especially if you haven't taken one since you were in school. So I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom. Let me know if you need anything. I am always here to help and I will see you guys inside very, very soon.